I just want it to stop. I don't want to have to do all of this. I'm a single mom. I don't have time for all of this. But something's got to be done. This school is notorious for kids being bullied. So many people around here pull their kids and go to Hermely, Ira, Gale, anywhere they can besides Snyder, junior high mainly. And something, I mean, it, it, if you know about it, then do something about it. Good evening. A Snyder mother is crying out for her child. She says her daughter's faced years of bullying with little to no protection from the school district. She turned to KTEX's reporter Karina Hollingsworth for some help. Michelle Trulock says she's done everything she knows to do as a mother to stop the bullying. She's made phone calls to the school district and she says other parents have also called, but nothing is ever done. Trulock says the school year is just beginning and her daughter Carrie just can't seem to catch a break from all the bullying. They were calling her Coochie Carrie, Harry Carrie, telling her about the honey bun on the floor, pick up the honey bun fatty. This was a this happened around 4 because she was waiting on the bus. So I went and picked her up at 5.30 and brought her home. And she could not remember from 4 o'clock to 5.30 what those kids were saying to her, who it was that was saying those things to her. Carrie Trulock, a 7th grader at Snyder Junior High, was born with a condition called Q237 chromosome deletion syndrome. It causes learning disabilities and it affects her memory which explains why she can't remember the mean things that are done to her. What's the most traumatic thing that's been done to your daughter? For me or for her? We can discuss both. For me, it was the eating Orbeez thing because that could have had physical and uh, health. One of the teachers called me and said that Carrie had been eating Orbeez on the bus. And so whenever I got her home, I asked her, you know, what, what are you doing? Why are you eating Orbeez? And she was like, because they said that it, they would taste good. Orbeez are bees that expand to the size of a marble when they get wet. If swallowed, the bees can expand inside of throats and intestines and cause blockages. Michelle Trulock says she can go on and on about the bullying her daughter has experienced in Snyder ISD. But some of those details are just too graphic. I am enraged. I am petrified for my daughter. It's not fair. Her life is hard enough as it is. She shouldn't have to deal with that. I'm going to the Texas Education Department. I will go to every federal, um, I will go to every outlet that I can find to get something done about this. If it takes me getting a lawyer, then so be it. So you're willing to um, press the charge? I am going all the way. We have sent multiple emails and voicemails to Snyder ISD attempting to get an insight on how bullying is handled within the school district, but they have not yet responded. As you just saw, we reached out to Snyder ISD and so far they have not yet responded, but bullying is a big concern and we are still open to having a conversation about it. Reporting in the studio, I'm Karina Hollingsworth, K Texas News. Well, hot and dry for the majority of us, unfortunately, again this afternoon, but we did track a few cooling showers up here around Haskell County. Sadly, 